And tonight, the president's chief of staff says if the government shutdown drags on, it is Nancy Pelosi's fault. But KPIX5 political reporter Melissa Kane says mending fences between the two sides may be just a matter of wording. Day two of the partial government shutdown, all because the president says he needs $5 billion to build a wall. And Democrats say no way. President Trump, you will not get your wall. But Democrats will pay for fences. And according to Democrats, this is a fence. Now, back in March, over 100 Democrats in the House, including Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi, voted in favor of the 2018 budget. And it included $1.6 billion for Border Patrol to build fencing, such as currently deployed steel bollard designs, like these. Now, the president said this was funding for a wall, but Pelosi said that's not true. There's some resources uh, for fencing and repairs and the rest there. But if you want to think that you're getting a wall, you just think it and sign the bill. Over in the Senate, the Appropriations Committee, including 10 Democrats, already voted to give Border Patrol another $1.6 billion in 2019 for the same kind of fencing. Why only $1.6 billion? Because that's what Border Patrol asked for back in April. With regard to border security, the president's budget requests $1.6 billion to be applied toward the construction of 65 miles of border wall system. Now the president is demanding $5 billion for a wall or barrier, and on Thursday, the Republican-controlled House voted to do just that. But the House won't be Republican-controlled much longer. On January 3rd, Democrats take over, and Nancy Pelosi will likely be the new speaker. I think there's a, an implication here for Nancy Pelosi's election for the speakership. The president's Incoming acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney says this transition may actually prolong the shutdown. I think she's now um, in that unfortunate position of being beholden to her left wing to where she cannot be seen as agreeing with the president on anything until she, after she's speaker. If that's the case, again, I think there's a chance we go into the next Congress. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.